Lyndon B. Johnson National Park, or also known as LBJ Ranch, is located near Stonewall, Texas. Before heading here, you can visit the LBJ State Park and obtain a free permit to enter the ranch and take a driving tour. Maps are also provided at the state park as well. There are places along the tour where you can pull over and take a closer look at all the points of interest. I will include a link to the map in the description below. After entering the ranch, the first stop is Junction School, a one-room school that was heated by a stove in the middle of the room and had two kerosene lamps suspended from the ceiling to provide light when needed. Lyndon B. Johnson attended this school for several months in 1912 before the school closed early due to a whooping cough epidemic. As president, Johnson returned on April 11, 1965 to sign the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. The next stop is the reconstructed birthplace of LBJ, who was born to Sam and Rebecca Johnson on August 27, 1908. In 1964, President Johnson hired Austin architect Roy White to reconstruct his birth home through the use of old photographs and family members' memories. The home was later used as a guest house. The Johnson Family Cemetery is the final resting place of President Johnson, who was laid to rest on January 25, 1973. Across the river from the cemetery is the Lutheran Church, where President Johnson and his wife would attend services. Near the church is also a Head Start program established during the President's administration that continues to provide services for the local community. Driving past the cemetery is the home of LBJ's grandparents, Sam and Eliza Johnson. They were very successful cattle drovers who gained a fortune, but then lost it. After this, Sam and Eliza Johnson resettled here along the Pedernales. Both are buried at the family cemetery. are the descendants of LBJ's original herd of 400. The cattle are still tended to and cared for by workers who can be found at the show barn. Completed in 1966, the show barn was used to care for and train the cattle on the ranch. Built on a hill, the structure takes advantage of the breezes to keep the cattle cool and to keep odors to a minimum. A closer view of the cattle show weights are kept on their horns so that they grow down for aesthetic purposes. The next 
stop after the show barn is the Lockheed Jetstar, referred to as Air Force One and a Half. This plane flew LBJ in and out of his ranch when he was vice president and then president. This previous airplane hangar would protect LBJ's private plane from the elements. It now serves as an information center for the ranch with a bookstore and exhibits. Part of one of the exhibits included this 1965 Corvette Stingray, a gift LBJ gave to his daughter two weeks before her 18th birthday. Let me know in the comments, what interesting little known facts do you know about LBJ? In between the hangar and the ranch house is a small house where Secret Service agents would stay when guarding the president. The main attraction of this national park is the ranch house, or more commonly known as the Texas White House, that sits along the Pedernales River. President Johnson would invite world leaders here, as well as hold meetings with his cabinet. At the time of my visit, the Texas White House was closed until structural concerns could be addressed. 